Islander is actually something that you have hired to the the fire system and you have to pretend to be a beast to the fire system. But here actually the fire system understands that you have you may have a body manager and the body manager understands how the fire system works and that makes it possible to do all these interesting hour handling and things like that. Yes, but, uh, I'm just wondering about kind of things like uh, uh, you the external storage for example, and uh, we we get the data set there. So it's not it is not like that, and that there should be a bottleneck uh, situation because the data set itself is quite heavy, and it is taking all the checksum and other stuff for the reliability and the other things. So and uh, and some storage part is also to uh, increase the reliability of the and the data. So, I mean, yeah. Yeah, of course, you have you have a, a little bit of overhead with the reliability of CFS, but uh, I think the result behind the fact that the overhead is, is much less than most people think. Because, as I said, the, the, the actual value of the check fund goes more or less for free and blocks you. Take them off the this is where we questions and. Uh, yeah, of course, you, cons you consume some CPU cycles to compute the set sums, but, but, mo but most, most of the other work is actually for free because uh, to trust the file system, you, have, you must touch the point of block anyway. And you have, you have space that puts the check sums. So it's actually, it's actually CPU overhead. And in some cases, for very, very high low the CFS, they actually put in that. It may be a significant part of the CPU we have to use to check something. But if, if you're more looking at the, the traditional load you have in a, in a normal administrative application, things like that, then, there's, then the check something is nothing we should bother about. What was maybe happening to the customer and can we just be able to features? Yeah, you can, you can actually choose the different check some algorithms and, and one of them is no check value also. But in general I, I wouldn't recommend to use that because then you lose a lot of the good things to see it as brings you. I think this is a super <laughs> colored t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Is it possible for several machines to share one pool, or does the one that you break down if network comes from available? Uh, actually, CFS is designed to be a single machine mm -hmm. system. Uh, and what, uh, I think one reason for that is actually that uh, we have all, other options of found. We have something called QFS. It's, this is a shared nuclear hyperfine system already. <coughs> so C CFS was more more actually to get a very good replacement for the UFS. Not, not to solve that all fine system problems. Two months ago um acquired uh last of yeah. another classic power and uh and also plans to integrate the device with last yeah, the cluster is a very different thing from a multi-writer file system because a, a multi-writer file system, um, any node can update any block in the file system. But what cluster actually do is more of a parallel file system, so then you need <laughs> extremely high IO loads. You can tell the writing server that you put this part of the file to that server, this part of the file to that server, and then you strive strive the writes actually. On the side of the farm, storage charges. On most of the integration now, would it be part of the ZFS? I think what I'm seeing from the last scene is that they, they want to have CFS as storage and, and they, want, they want to have, they will come in last below the file system interface. So their goal is actually to have each cluster node to be able to present the data through a normal CFS. Yeah. 